election. Maybe the Republican machine, machine won't give in on this, but what if the former president faces charges elsewhere, such as higher level felonies? Will they continue to support him no matter what? Well, let's ask Lauren Wright, political analyst and lecturer in politics at Princeton University. Thank you so much for coming on. Am I wrong? I mean, I think there's something, it's easy to support him now. Yes. What happens if he gets indicted in Georgia, federal election, if the charges in New York are worse than we think? I, those are the tougher cases. I think you're absolutely right. This is perhaps an easy case for Republicans to rally behind Trump. I still think they're very annoyed behind the scenes that his competitors, at least, can't get their own message out there. This is the only show in town. But once these other potential indictments come in, once we get really into the heat of primary season, they will have no choice but to go against him. That's what you need to build your percentages. You know who I think the first person, if it gets worse for Trump, is going to turn on him? Ron DeSantis. I mean, were you surprised? He already is. Well, yeah. I, he, he defended him, mm -hmm. but he was able to. He, that was like the perfect way to But he said, I don't it. know anything about hush payments to porn stars. I don't engage in that behavior. What about the something. extradition comment, though? I thought that was really smart because Trump's going to turn himself in anyway. Ron DeSantis won't have anything to do with the extradition process. He can make some political points up that way. Way, and he never has to follow through with it. And then we've seen, you know, pretty much a lot of the contenders. We've seen Nikki Haley, Mike Pence. It seems I, I, they're all, I, 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 you correct me if I'm wrong, I haven't heard one notable Republican in the field or in the GOP actually saying this is a good thing, the indictment. Is that just they're following the party line? They don't want to lose the Trump supporters? Or is it something more? I, they need to build up those percentages if they don't want to just be running for vice president. Eventually, they have to go after him. We might not see it for a while, but I don't think this is a good thing for Trump by any measure. I think he's dealing with the hand he's dealt. He wouldn't have raised his hand for it. And central to this indictment is the issue back from 2016 he allegedly hid the hush money right. payments because he thought it would affect his 2016 prospects. Let me ask you this before we let you go. How much do you think voters are going to care about this? Because there's so much more that directly affects them, their jobs, the economy, yeah. immigration. You think they're going to care about New York? I don't think it's a priority for most voters. I really don't. I think Trump has a lot of baked in support. He's going to have that no matter what. This probably won't diminish that among his most hardcore supporters, he'll have that 30 to 40 percent, maybe no matter what. But if he's the nominee, and that looks pretty likely at this point, moderate voters are going to say, look at all this chaos. I don't know about this. Yep. It's going to remind them of the bad things. And they do have other pressing issues. Well, I will take a cue from the man I'm filling into tonight. We shall wait and see. That is yes. what Dan always says. Lauren Wright, <laughs> thank you so much for coming on. I appreciate Thanks, it. Thanks, Jesse. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.